Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If I still have glitter in my hair, that is from yesterday's video. I played around with a product called Unicorn Snot and I'm not even joking, you guys. I had to wash my hair three times this morning and I'm still like picking glitter out from my eyebrows and my hair and we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna just like scoot on past that. So if you see a little glitter, that is what is up. I will link that video below. If you are curious about Unicorn Snot, it was a great time. I loved filming that. And today we are playing with another kind of weird product. So this is new from Becca. This is called the Hydra Mist. Why is it called mist? There's, it's a powder. There's nothing misting about this product. That's a weird name to me, um, but it's called the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. So what this is supposed to do, why it's so different, is it's supposed to set and extend the wear time of your makeup like a normal powder would, but it's supposed to also have this refreshing type of a quality to it where it blurs lines and really gives your skin a nice wake up. It's really cooling. I was definitely getting a lot of tweets, a lot of messages, emails, and everyone was like, what is up with this powder? Powder that is 50% water. And I have seen and used a product very similar in the past, and I have it right in front of me. This is from Prescriptives. I have kind of a love-hate with this product. I, in the past, used to wear this all of the time. I don't anymore. I don't really love this product, so I'm curious to see if this is any different. The Becca formula says it's ultra fine, light reflecting powders float over the skin to smooth and blur lines and wrinkles and imperfections reapply as needed to keep makeup looking fresh all day long. So you guys know I'm gonna do a wear test and as I retouch my skin throughout the day, I'll make sure to sit back down and do that with you guys on camera so we can see not only how this extends my makeup and the wear time and the look of it, but if I get oily really quickly or quicker than you know my normal Cody Airspun, my like ride or die powder, we're gonna see if that happens because I'm wearing my Laura Mercier foundation that I wear almost every day and I know how it works with my other products, but also, I like seeing how powders work as a touch-up because sometimes it can make things look worse and more cakey. So we will definitely see that as well. So something that I will say as far as comparing these two right here, this one from Prescriptives, you actually get quite a bit in here. 1.2 ounces, this one you get 0.2. Three, five. So you get a lot more in the prescriptives. This one does have more of an iridescent sheen to it. So I'm curious to see if the Becca version is um, shiny or iridescent at all. The prescriptives magic, I first tried when I was doing fragrance modeling. And whenever I say fragrance modeling, it sounds like I was laying on a beach somewhere as a model. That's not what it is. I was that woman like standing, you know, handing out samples, asking if you would like to try Ralph Lauren Romance. And that was my gig for a while back when I was like 18, 19. And I knew a girl that worked over at the prescriptives counter and I would always be like, give me the magic powder. Can I have the magic powder? And she would just, you know, take a little bit and it was so refreshing. Like I didn't even care how I looked. I was like, this just feels really good. So I remember there definitely was a time when I was so into it. Ooh. And this just kind of brought me down memory lane. Wow, that does feel really wet. So this is the inside. It has kind of a nice net right here to keep the product from kind of fluffing everywhere. That is something you gotta feel for yourself though. Go to Ulta, go to Sephora, and just take it on the back of your hand because it is cold and wet. It's so weird. Your eyes are like, it's a powder. And then you're like, it's water. I'm confused. Um, it's so many different things happening all at once. But I think what we really wanna know is how does it look on the face? I need concealer so badly that we just, let's get to application. We should just do that. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape and we shall get started on concealing. I'm gonna try and keep my mirror not in the way. I'm sorry about that, you guys. I just get so lost in doing my makeup sometimes that I forget that there's even a camera there. It's the weirdest thing. Like I just feel like, oh, I'm just hanging out and talking and I just like do this. I'm gonna work on it. There is always, always room for improvement. So we're gonna get there. She's concealed. Uh, so now we are gonna go in and it says to use a kabuki brush is best. I don't know about that. I wanna take it in the lid. I am going to first go underneath the eyes and set it and see if that like jacks up my concealer or what the deal is and then get to the face. Oh my God, that feels so strange. 
Whew, that is wet. There is only one shade, so this is just like a translucent shade for everybody. Yeah, that is trippy. It makes my concealer way darker. I don't like that. My concealer went from being too light to being literally orange. <sighs> and it's gonna be one of those makeup days where for the rest of the afternoon, every time I glance in the mirror, I'm gonna be like, I wish I had used my 399 Brighten Up from Essence because this would have worked better underneath the eyes. So I immediately know that I do not like this for setting the under eye area, but I wanna give this a fair shot on the rest of my face. So I have product here on this brush and I'm just going to fluff it everywhere to set the rest of my makeup. It feels like I am taking water, like a wet brush on my face. It's a very dangerous feeling when you've put a lot of time and effort into your makeup to have water be stamped on your face. All right, so I do have to say the Prescriptive's Magic Powder has much more iridescence, whereas the Becca doesn't have any. And I prefer that about the Becca. This one always at some point would make me look a little bit too shiny everywhere because it almost looks like an iridescent micro glitter. So the Becca one is already impressing me more than the Prescriptive's Magic Powder. I think my next step is to put on a little bronzer and blush and see how everything layers on top of this. My skin feels weird. It does feel very strange. Like. It's hard to describe, but it feels not sticky. It feels tight. So I'm just taking a little Make It Forever and kind of just warming the face up ever so slightly. Bronzer is layering on top of this beautifully. No skipping, none of that. So that's really good. Let's take a little blush. I'm gonna use a cargo blush that I found again and was swatching and I'm like, oh my gosh, I used to love this one so, so much. This is Los Cabos. It is a water resistant blush. It's just so nice and peachy. I love it. Now we're gonna take a little Wet n Wild highlighting powder as our highlight today. I'm gonna to take a Morphe M501. That is the best highlighter at the drugstore. I talked about this in Monday's video and it is just like, it's so good. If you find this, I believe it's limited edition, but if you are able to find this for five bucks, it is so nice. I have been wearing it nonstop, like non nonstop. Like it, love it, love the highlight. My skin looks really good. I do have to say it feels really nice. Like everything feels very set. It doesn't look crinkly or cakey or dry at all. Obviously it feels wet when you put this powder on and it gives your skin this weird hydration moment and then it just sets everything where I don't feel like my foundation is gonna break apart or get super oily. I don't think I would use it again underneath my eyes, but for the rest of my face, I am into it. I think it looks really creamy and nice and not overly drying. So that's a huge bonus. All right, I will see you guys in just a little bit. All right, you guys, so it has been several hours and I have put on more makeup, not on my face, but actually on my eyes. I was playing around with this guy right here from ColourPop. This is the shade Wild Thoughts and that is what is underneath my eye. And then I put a glitter from Stila kind of smudged it a little bit in the inner corner. So that's what changed with my eye because I realized that I put on the powder and I didn't finish up my lower lash line and I felt like it looked kind of empty. So I fixed that, contoured my nose, but everything else on my face is the same. And I like this. I like the powder, obviously. I will never ever use it again for uh, setting my concealer because it did do some funny things to that, but I'm not getting oily which is really strange. I expected to get more dewy and oily with this, but we're three hours in and everything still looks really nice. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna keep doing check-ins and I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. Also, you guys asked for it and it is happening. I have convinced James to spend a uh, part of tomorrow unboxing with me. So this will go up either on Friday or Monday, but stay tuned. Another PR unboxing is headed your way. It is Taylor's birthday and we have the most perfect balloon ever. Check this out. It's a cat. It looks like a, our neighborhood cat actually. All right. so. 
Um, car check-in. Makeup is still doing fabulous. I don't like the under eye still. That's not gonna change. But everything else is really like smooth and pretty. And I think it is a solid makeup day and I'm gonna continue using this product. So um, we're halfway through the day and nothing has broken apart or gotten oily. Yay for that. And I'll do another check-in in a few more hours. It is the end of the day. It is raining outside now. And I just have to say, I am surprised looking in the mirror that all these hours later, my skin is not more oily and shiny than it looks right now. It feels like everything is still pretty fresh. So it has that fresh feeling. I don't know, there's something about this powder. Once you put it on, it just locks in really, really nicely. I'm gonna keep using this. I am pleasantly surprised. I do wanna put on a little bit more just like as the last Last thing that we do right now because I haven't put any additional product on my face I haven't needed to so I thought maybe let's do that um, the foundation around my mouth really got rubbed off because I had, I had like a big tuna sandwich today it was so good um, but I literally did that thing where I was like biting into the sandwich and like my lipstick got on my chin and I had to wipe it all off and it was a whole thing um, so the foundation's a little bit splotchy around my chin and that's why this is like the craziest thing ever, you guys. It's giving me that locked in feeling, but it feels like I'm rubbing a damp rag on my face or like I just ran this underwater. It's so strange. Now, surprisingly, I have to say, the weird color change underneath my eyes, I feel like it changed throughout the day and got better. I still don't think I would reach for this first to set my under eye area, but I definitely We'll set my face with it. I'll use it again tomorrow and we'll just like continue playing with it because I think this is a really impressive product. Like I am loving my makeup today. I would actually recreate this as a tutorial. I think this is a really pretty eye look. Let me know your thoughts. Um, but yeah, this is a hit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it answered some questions if you were curious about the product. Little heads up for you guys. Tomorrow is a hotter knot of new Sephora items, things that are brand new that I have been putting to the test and I have more than just like an immediate first impression impression on. So come back for that. I love you guys so much. I hope you are having a good one and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.